Hi and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're gonna see how we can implement advanced input validation using Zod library in Next.js. Go with Sloba. At the moment, we only have one input field and this is the one when we are creating a new task, but this is enough for you to get a sense of how you can create and validate your input fields. So let's head over to our Visual Studio code and let's install the Zod library that I told you that we need. And in our Visual Studio code, let's open up a terminal. And inside of the terminal, let's run the following command, npm install Zod. And this is the library that we're gonna be using in order to implement advanced field validation. So now we can close the terminal and let's open up the utils folder. And inside of the utils folder, we wanna open up the actions.js file. So this is the file that we're gonna be using. And actually we wanna perform some validation when we are creating new tasks here. So we wanna make sure that this content is a type of string and it has minimum five characters. So let's see how we can do this using Zod. So first we need to import the package that we're gonna be using. So let's on the top import, import Z from Zod like this. And now we have access to our Zod library here. Now there are multiple ways of how you can validate your input fields, but we're gonna define a schema. This is a good approach if you have multiple fields and you have a large form. So you just define an object where you store all the validation for your entire form. So let's create a new object and let's name it as a task. And here we access the Z from the Zod and we just need object. And here we define a schema for our input fields. Here we only have one input field for our use case and we just wanna make it as a string. So here we wanna say the content input field needs to be a type of string and we just call a string function here. And then if you want to add some additional field validation, you can call some additional functions. So for example, we can say that minimum number of characters for this input field needs to be five. So we can call a function min and then just provide argument of five like this. And now we have created a new object that has this schema created inside of it. So now how can we use this object to actually validate our input fields? So inside of our try catch block, we can call this object and then execute the method on this object. And the name of this method is parse. And now we're just gonna try to parse whatever object that we have. And in our case, we have this content property that we are getting from our form here. So let's just pass content like this. And now if this is successful, it will just continue to run our function. If it fails, it will throw an error from the Zod library. And we can catch this error inside of our catch block here. For starters, let's just log to see what kind of error we get. And then later on, we can display this error to our page. So let's save this and let's see what we have in the browser. So let's say that we wanna type something and we just enter two characters. And as we said, the minimum was five. So let's create a task and we should get an error. And yes, this is true. And now if we go to our browser and let's check the terminal to see what is the format of, of the error. So if you scroll up, it says here, the minimum is five and the actual message is string must contain at least five characters. So we can use this message to display this on the page. So let's shrink this down and let's include this message. Uh, actually, I'm seeing that we have another error and this is the error from the previous tutorial where we are accessing Tasca table that we don't have in our database. So let's remove this one as well. And now what we can do is we can display this error message that we are getting from the task from Zod library. So here, instead of just logging this error message, we can check if we are getting some errors from this Zod. Let's display that, otherwise we can use this hard-coded message. So let's access the error object and inside this error object we have this errors object and we want to access the first item and we want to check if this object exists. If it is, then let's access the message property. Otherwise, let's just use the error hard-coded message here. So let's save this and let's try once again. Now let me refresh this page and let's once again try to type two letters and let's just create task. So let's see what happens after two seconds and actually we get the message that we are uh, receiving from the Zod library. String must contain at least five characters. That's beautiful. And if we say something like buy balls, create task, then you can see that we have success and we have added new task here. And this is all. And as you can see, it's very easy and straightforward to implement advanced field validation using Zod library in Next.js. See in the following tutorials. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. 
code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.